there, it's Dr. Shannon, your friendly neighborhood neuroscientist, back with another episode of Mechanism of Action. And today we're talking about everyone's go-to painkiller, Advil. Sorry, Tylenol, we'll get you next time. Ah! Now, Advil, aka ibuprofen, belongs to a group of painkillers known as NSAIDs, or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Now, a question I've seen on TikTok, Twitter, and even in my own headache-prone head is, how does Advil know where to go to treat pain? And the truth is, she doesn't. Advil works by entering your bloodstream and inhibiting these enzymes known as COX enzymes. Not to be confused with your freshman year roommate, but Advil is a COX blocker. Okay, but how does this inhibition dampen pain? Well, let's first talk about what happens on the cellular level when you, say, bang your knee on the coffee table. Stick with me here. So upon damage or irritation, the cells bleed this substance known as arachidonic acid. Now it's COX's job to help convert this acid into a substance known as prostaglandin. Now, prostaglandins can do a ton of shit, but for this context, one of the things it can do is interact with pain receptors and make them more sensitive or more willing to send that ouch signal up to the brain. So Advil, by blocking COX, reduces the production of prostaglandins, therefore reducing that pain receptor sensitization, therefore dampening pain. And as an uncoordinated freak with a high propensity for injury, I for one, I'm thankful. <laughs>